installment plans. Sayon ngayon. All right, 9.47 ang ating oras. Uh, we have in our meets today, Mr. CJ Tayag, live and direct from Angela City and Clark. And of course, Bob Wagner of the Robert T. Wagner Foundation. And this is the guy who's trying to help the Philippines, particularly in schools. And uh, before we ask him the other usage of uh, the uh, supplies that they have. Albert, meron ka bang babatiin dyan? Happy birthday to Henry Taruk from Leng Leng. Happy birthday sa pamangkin kong si Bea from Tito June Tolentino. Happy birthday kay Laika Singian from Mami May. And happy birthday din, Junar. Hello sa Fibeta Ro, Kut Kut Chapter from Brother Ariel. Hello Karen Jimenez Family, King Santa Cruz Lubao, Pampanga. Pati po kang Alvin Manansala from Ley Jimenez. Meron tayong comment. Pakiulit nga po yung number ng CDC. Di ko po kasi nakukuha, mas, nakukuha masyadong mabilis. Sino ba nagbigay ng CDC number? Why are you looking at me maliciously? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> CDC number, baka po mali yung napag-text ninyo. <laughs> All right. Anyway, congratulations. The BIR, Bureau of Internal Revenue, will be having robbing the elbows with taxpayers later on. You have to remember, folks, two things are permanent in life, death and taxes. Mm -hmm. All right? So later on, sa Mimosa po, convince on setter, darating si uh, Commissioner Kim Hazinto Henares. Siya po ang Commissioner ng BIR. Kasama po si Attorney Araceli Francisco, ang ating Regional Director for BIR dito po sa ating lugar. will be there. Tapos, after that, immediately, congratulations, Angela City Cable Television Network, HD na po sila. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mamaya, launching ano it. Sabihin, ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng HD? Uh, mm -hmm. Helper Domestic? Hindi. Mm -hmm. Ano? High definition. Oh, very hard to pronounce for mm -hmm. a pampango. High definition. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so going back. Bob, uh, I was asking you when we were on a commercial break, uh, what are the other uses for this uh, thing? Basically, anything that can fit within seven, seven meters by nine meters. They can be standalone hotel rooms uh, with solar powered uh, roofs uh, and uh, um, um, independent water supplies. Uh, for instance, if you have a, an island out in the middle of the ocean someplace. Is it also relative to uh, the material they use for uh, making boats? It absolutely is, and that's the reason why it's good for this climate. Oh, and, and then, you know, they're submerged in water. For quite a while, so they really Nothing have to be studied. Nothing will happen. All right. What about the supply of uh, the necessary ingredients to produce fiberglass? No problem with that? No. Uh, as far as the reliability of the, the source and everything, uh -huh, yes, uh -huh. absolutely, yes. Uh, by, by the way, the, fact, uh, the factory is Japanese, mm -hmm. uh, and it's on Clark uh, within the, uh, the special economic zone. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. that one under construction now, so they have stairs. Can you check on the monitor, please? Uh -huh. Yes, actually, the stairs in this 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 is a this is an example of of um, other types of portable modular cl uh, modular classrooms that were uh, constructed uh, after the earthquake in Haiti, and this was done by the funded by the Clinton Foundation, Bill Clinton, uh, oh. and uh, you can see uh, in some cases the staircases were made out of wood. Some of them were actually made out of both wood and concrete. In this case, it's both. Um, and um, uh, you see the children actually got to go to school six months after the earthquake for the first time. Oh. And this is, this is a really good example. And uh, these types of uh, projects can also be done here in the Philippines uh, mm -hmm. because there will be more earthquakes as the Philippines sits right on top of the Ring of Fire. Is this in Haiti? This is in Haiti. That was, that was where the, the first project was put together. But those, that construction was all wood, was all plywood. But it had to be done quickly. Uh-huh. Because of uh, the lack of material time. That's due correct. To, due yes. to the earthquake. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. But in the Philippines, uh, have you finished some that are ready for distribution? No, the first one, as I said before, the first one is going to be prototyped at our location in Moncayo. When? Near Clark. That should be the, by the end of next month, the end right. of March. Do you have uh, models that uh, I can take a look when I go to Clark? Absolutely. We actually, you can see the, uh, uh, the, the construction of the uh, prototype uh, uh, taking place, uh, but mm -hmm. we also have models uh, at the, um, uh, within the office uh, of the, uh, the factory itself. What if there are NGOs, but they're not religious organizations, they're civic organizations mm -hmm. yes. who would like to adopt one place and donate those kind of uh, schools. Is it possible? Th they're most welcome to join with us. Uh -huh. All they have to do is get in touch. That's correct. See how they're being done mm -hmm. because your specifications follows the standard for schools. 
That's correct. Is that possible? Yes, and uh, we we don't do anything without uh, the, uh, the 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 prior approval of the school principals. Uh huh. All right. And that one is a disaster relief single family unit. Yeah, this is this is actually a concept uh, drawing that was done about uh, a year and a half ago um, by a company uh, near Knoxville, which is my home in Tennessee, um, called Clayton Homes, and uh, they make um, portable modular structures like this. Um, and it's an example of what could be done uh, in the case of disasters. How many bedrooms is that? Um, that's two bedrooms. With toilet and bath? Yes, um, I think it's uh, two bedrooms, two bath. Oh, and you also have duplex housing. That's correct. Oh. Uh -huh. So, uh, you know, retirees can avail of that, right? Uh, anybody can, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. If they want to uh, relocate like uh, military housing, mm -hmm. like relocate those people from the Air Force mm. to another place. Uh -huh. They could build that uh, as soon as oh, possible. Oh, the Philippine Air Force inside Clark yeah. can use that. We can move them to Basa Air Base. Yeah. We, we've actually suggested that. Yeah, so yeah. that uh, they have, and you know, it's very hard if you uproot them and then they don't have a place to stay. Yes. But if you build them, that very nice uh, conducive homes for the Air Force. After all, there are Air Force. We cannot get rid of them. But we have to relocate them into a very nice place. Basa Air Base, it's huge, it's very vast very truck ideal, lands, huh? very, very ideal. ideal. Mm. So that we can, uh, in turn, uh, use the place that they're occupying right now to become a business district. More money for the government. Yes. That's oh. correct. All right, Bob, it was very nice to uh, have you here with us today. I think Albert had enough. Look at his nose. It's turning red. Yes, <laughs> and it's about to... And his bleed. eyes, yeah. nose bleed, too much English. That's bad why, for, that's why Boy Santiago was not here because... That's uh, correct. He, 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 could, he could no longer take it. Mouth bleed and nose bleed uh -huh. at the same time. Oh, my you know what happened because of his mouth bleed? Yeah. Oh, wow. He lost his front teeth. Oh. <laughs> too much bleeding. Oh, my God. Excessive bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know what he's doing now? He's using adult diaper. <laughs> to, to contain the bleed, to contain the bleed. <laughs> that's an American invention, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, here he comes. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, here, here's uh, talking about the bad guy. He's back. See, uh huh. After his uh, surgical operation. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bob. When can we uh, drop by your place and see what's going on? Anytime. Just give me a call. Where are you located at inside Clark? Uh, in Redwood Villas. Oh, Redwood. Redwood, yes. Is that is the factory there? It's actually uh, literally uh, half a kilometer away from yeah, there. You could meet at Mimosa for a copy of that. Yes. Yeah, because uh, on Friday, I think, uh, yeah, I'm the president of the press club, by the way. I'm the only uh, broadcast personality who is the president of newspaper people. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> bizarre. Yes. Nice <laughs> kind of absurd. I, di I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> Yeah, because it might incriminate you. <laughs> we'll be meeting the guys on Friday, and then I'll be inviting you to be there. If you're here in, in the Philippines yes, on Friday, yes. mm -hmm. so you can rub elbows with the guys. Yeah. And what we're talking about too now, we will just you know say a few words with, with these guys. Great, love to. Because we want you to help more people with the classrooms, a and perhaps in the future build homes for our senior citizens, for our soldiers, and even for press people. Even squatters. See, even squatters, right? Oh. Absolutely. So this is just the tip of the iceberg, right? Yes. Okay, got to let you go, Mr. Wagner. Have okay. a nice day. Thank you very much for having me. All right, CJ, thank you. Marami salamat, Kuya Perry. Oh, CJ, but di mo binabati si Jenny? Ay, hello, darling. Hindi Happy Valentine's. Hindi mo ba alam na kayong dalawa ni Albert eh pinagtagpo ng kapalaran? <laughs> Anong palayo ng misis mo si Jenny? What do you call her? Yung misis mo, anong... Darling. Hindi, yung kanyang palayaw. Jeng? Jeng. Ah, oh, see? Same. Jenny rin. Ito. Mm, yung yung kay Albert. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh. Kasi si Albert, eh, original member ng Takusa. Uh, mm -hmm. Yung presidente, ikaw? Ako. <laughs> <laughs> nasa kakagabi. Ah, ah. ah, nasa bahay lang. Bahay. Kayo uh, bahay. Bahay ng may bahay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bob Wagner is sold already. Yeah. We sold you already on the air. Yeah. See, you didn't even I know what happened. That very much. Say hello to uh, our good friend, your your IT man. Oh yes, uh, my IT manager. If anybody has any questions about the website, please get in contact with Mr. Louis Vandenberg. Louis P. Louis P. Vandenberg. Yes. Yeah, but he's a Pinoy. 
He's um, Australian. Uh, uh, Filipino. Australian. Uh, Fili- how do you, is that uh, uh, American Filipino? Is Philam, right? Yeah. How mm-hmm. do you say Australian? Pilos. Pilos? Yeah. Okay. Pilosi. Aha. Uh-huh. Pilosi. Okay. Aussie, okay. maybe, right. because the other one is Austrian. Mm. Okay, like, uh, yeah, right. Okay. Very good. Uh, okay, or you can also call him Phil Kangaroo. <laughs> 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 Hi, Mike. That's Phil how they Kang. do it in Australia. <laughs> CJ, thank you very much for being here. All right. And we'll see more of you again. Uh, we'll shoot pictures and we'll show our people what we have. Albert? Sa ating tanong ng bayan, naniniwala po ba kayo na nananatiling maganda ang performance ng Administrasyong Aquino sa ating bansa? Ito po ang ilan sa mga sagot. Opo, naniniwala kami kasi malini sa transparent ang gobyerno ni Pinoy. Yung isa naman, hindi kami nasisiyahan sa pamamahala ni Pinoy. Wala kaming nararamdamang pagbabago. At ang isa naman, do we have a president? Walang ginawa kundi bengganza. Mga gabinete, korap din naman. Sabi nung nag-text sa atin. Sakit naman nun. Mm. Eto pa yung isa. Hindi po ako naniniwalang maunlad ang kasalukuyang administrasyon. Wala po kasing ginawa kundi magpapogi ang mga gabinete ni Pinoy. Ngisa naman, hindi po ako bilib sa pamahala ng Aquino dahil wala pa siyang nagagawa ngayon. Di nga siya korap, wala namang nagagawang mabuti, lalong tumaas lahat ng, ng uh, bilihin, sabi ni Jason ng Arayat. Ngisa naman, hindi po. Ayon po sa mga tinanungan kong mga nanay ng mga barkada ko. <laughs> Nakipagkwentuhan sa mga nanay ng barkada niya. Uh, mahilig no, sa chika. Mm. Sinasabi parang wala pa siyang nagagawa sa ating bansa. All right, ang ating pabaon, uh, Albert. Madalas tayong natututo sa pagkakamali. Ang ating kamampangan word, dus-dus. This is a certain disease of the scalp. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being with us today. Kanina nakausap natin si Sheila Sikat from DSWD. Mm. Ganun din yung mga host ng bagong umaga, 8 to 9, bago talakayan dito po sa ating stasyon. CLTV 36 at siyempre po sa RW 95.1 Bob Wagner, thank you for being here CJ, thank you and nice to have you around 10 o'clock na po ang ating oras Albert, thank you at Ray B Happy Valentine's Day yesterday Sino ang ating nasa kusina? Edsel and Joe at si Cesar Mangkaw <laughs> si Algel Kulala Thank you God bless you This is Perry Pangan saying until tomorrow